Three weeks ago, I laid out a COVID-19 action plan for this winter that prepared us for this moment. Today, we're making the plan even stronger. First, we're setting up our vaccination and booster efforts. We're stepping it up significantly. In the past two weeks, we've seen the highest vaccination rates since last spring. And we aren't as vaccinated as a country as we should be, though. That's why we have added 10,000 new vaccination sites on top of the 80,000 sites that are already we, had, we already had in place. And even more will open in January. Starting this week, the federal government will set up emergency testing sites in areas that need additional testing capacity. Before Christmas, the first several of these federal testing sites will be up and running in New York City, with many more to come. This free testing is going to help reduce the waiting lines, the time you have to stand there. We're going to continue to add federal testing sites where needed. So that if you want an immediate test, there'll be a place where you can go get it. We also need to do better with at-home testing. So I'm announcing today the federal government will purchase one half billion, that's not million, billion with a B, additional at-home rapid test with delivery starting in January. We'll be getting these tests to Americans for free. And we'll have websites where you can get them delivered to your home. Next, we are preparing hospitals for what's coming. Those 40 unvaccinated adults have a good chance of getting COVID-19. And some of you will get very sick. And that'll mean hospitals are going to get extremely stressed, extremely stressed again, both in terms of equipment, as well as personnel to care for those who get sick. That's why my administration has stockpiled and prepositioned millions of gowns, and gloves, masks, and ventilators. We're ready to send them immediately to any state that needs more. In addition, I've directed the Pentagon to mobilize an additional 1,000 troops to be deployed to help staff local hospitals and expand capacity. Let me close with this. I know you're tired. I really mean this, and I know you're frustrated. We all want this to be over, but we're still in it. And this is a critical moment. We also have more tools than we ever had before. We're ready. We'll get through this. As we head into the holidays, I want us to all keep the faith. I want to sincerely thank you for your perseverance, your courage, your countless acts of kindness, love, and sacrifice during these last two years. 